My name is Jacqueline Bush and I am an editorial and celebrity hairstylist. My clientele has included Faith Hill, Mark Ruffalo, Terrence Howard, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jane Krakowski. I want to be able to show you that hair isn't as intimidating or as hard as you think it is and I want you to be able to have fun with it and do what your vision is with your hair. I'm going to show you how to get big hair. So the first thing I want to tell you is there are a couple of different tools you can use based on what your hair type is and what you want. Uh, the first thing I would recommend, which I already showed you in how to use a blow dryer, is when you step out of the shower, you put a little bit of product in your hair. You can use uh, a voluminizing mousse, you can use a gel, you can just even use their voluminizing sprays out there. Um, for our model's particular hair texture, she actually doesn't need that. She does get a lot of volume, so I'm not using a voluminizing spray. I did use a little bit of heat protector on her hair um, just because we are going to use heat on it to get the extra volume that we need. So you're going to flip your head over, you're going to rough dry it till it's about 85% dry. Your blow dryer should be on hot and you're just going to not worry about whether the hair is getting frizzy or whatever, that's not the point. What this is doing is this is giving it a lot of lift and volume and embracing its natural texture. You're gonna do this until your hair is about 85% dry. And when I'm in this position, what I like to do is focus on the roots because the more, the drier you get your roots here is that's gonna give it the extra lift, like those building blocks for the start of giving it more volume. So we're gonna do that really quick and then I'll show you the next step. So now I've blow dried Sibylla's hair till about 85% dry. There's still, it's still a little damp, not too damp, but a little bit because this is what's going to give us control for the next step. Now if you don't have time and you don't want to use a brush on your hair, I would just go ahead and blow dry the rest of this through, making sure you're focusing on the hair going in an upward direction because to get volume, your hair needs to go up. If you blow dry downwards, your hair is gonna go in a downwards direction. So just think about gravity. So say you don't have time for a blow dryer, real quick I'll show you, you just keep rough drying your hair, focusing on getting the volume quite large. You can even take some hairspray after it's dry, spray the hair a little bit, keep blow drying, that will give it a little bit of extra hold. Or the other trick you can do round brush. This is if you have more time, obviously. This kind of brush is a boar bristle brush, and what it does is it actually gives more volume and lift to your hair. It's a, this is a brush created for volume. So after your roots are mostly dry, your hair is in this state, what you can do is section by section, the way you'd measure that is measuring about the section of the brush. The smaller the section, the more control you're going to have. Section by section, focusing on blow drying the hair in the opposite direction it goes, that's what's going to give you lift. So for example, we have our model's hair here. Naturally, it falls straight down. To give it extra volume and extra lift, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that section and at the root of her hair, I'm going to blow dry in the opposite direction. Focusing on that root, making sure it gets nice and dry. And then as I dry the hair, going to kind of keep it there, blow drying it all the way up. And when you see our finished product, that's what's going to give her volume. So let me show that in one section for you. So now that we've got our section dry, as you notice, my brush is still in the hair. This is because you have two options right now if you really want to get your volume to stay all day. If you have the time, you can throw in a Velcro roller. Now the important thing with this is the hair is still warm, so throwing in the Velcro roller in this section, let the roller cool, then you can pop it out. If you don't have time for that, what you can do is take a little hairspray. Remember earlier I mentioned with a little hairspray blowing it, it can give you a little extra volume. We can do the same thing here. 
can take our hairspray, spray that section. We're gonna blow dry it just a little bit and that's to dry the hairspray. That's what's gonna hold it. And we can pull that section out. And as we pull it out, we're not gonna brush down and pull the hair out. We're just gonna gently remove the brush. As you can see, she has all this volume. We didn't try it hard. So what you're gonna do is work your way around the hair, section by section, doing the same thing. And that's how you get big hair.